What's up everybody, Justin with AmericanMuscle.com. Have Angelo in here with me today. He brought his brand new 2015 EcoBoost. Now we understand this isn't your first Mustang. Obviously you have a little history with the Mustang. Tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, well before the 15 I had two Mustangs. I had a 2008 GT California Special. That was a supercharged Paxton Novi 2200. Uh, Ford Racing Hot Rod cams and some Cooks long tubes. Very cool. And I also had a 14 GT track pack, basic bolt-ons, nothing too crazy. How are you enjoying the new EcoBoost? Definitely can't complain. The gas mileage has been awesome and it still has all the fun and it's an incredibly balanced car to have some fun on the street. That's what I like to talk about because we understand you like to do some events. I know you were talking to me about that. You love doing some solo stuff, some autocrossing, and you gotta be loving the IRS. It's a much better package out of the box than I expected to be completely honest. Okay, but as always, there's always room to improve and that's why you're here with us today. What are you looking for out of the car? I'm just looking to improve the ride height a little bit and stiffen it, get a little uh, that brake dive out of there, you know, improve the body roll, have it a little more predictable while I'm having some fun with it. And it's Probably a little quiet, I'd imagine, right? I mean, we've heard these stock EcoBoost before, and yeah. it's a fine line. You, you don't want to go too loud with the four-cylinder, but I think we have something for you that might help you out. Awesome. And we definitely have something for the suspension that you helped us pick out. So we're going to get you out of here. We're going to get to work on it, and then we'll bring you back in and see what you think. All right, guys, so we're getting started here with Angelo's EcoBoost. Now, Angelo is a self-proclaimed road racer. He's done some autocross stuff in the past. So therefore, he's very familiar with Eibach, as most of us are, and he really wanted to go with the Pro Kit here. Now, the Pro Kit, the milder of the two options from Eibach, the other ones being the Sport line, which do drop the car a little more, the Pro Kit's gonna drop his EcoBoost just over an inch up front and an inch in the rear, getting rid of that wheel gap, lowering the center of gravity, and really helping his uh, cornering in the process. Now, guys, with any spring install, of course, you're gonna need your spring compressor here. We got ourselves a nice one. It makes the job a heck of a lot easier, trust me. Uh, we already got the other side installed, so we're just going to finish up here with the driver's side and then move to the rear. With the car still up in the air, we have a couple more performance parts we're going to do. Let's do the exhaust first. Guys, just wrapping up the axle back here with Angelo's EcoBoost. He went with the Flowmaster Outlaw Series axle back for now. Um, definitely looking for a little bit more performance, a little bit more sound is going to be a given here with this exhaust. And uh, it is an axle back here at the 2015, so you do have to cut. But as long as you make the right measurements, make a good cut with a Sawzall, you should have it up and in and no problem, but about an hour, I would say. All right, guys, so I'm a fan of starting with the hardest stuff first, the springs in that case, and then working towards the easier stuff, which in this case is this brand new Air Raid cold air intake that Angelo's getting for his EcoBoost. Now, the Air Raid is a great product. I mean, with these 2015 EcoBoost, it's a no tune required intake. Shouldn't take any longer than 30 minutes to throw on. We'll get it on, get Angelo in here, and see what he thinks. What do you think of the ride height? That's exactly what I yeah. was hoping for. Nailed it, huh? The ride height is perfect. It has just a little bit of rake. The front's a little bit lower. It got rid of that kind of lifted front end it had from the factory. Absolutely. I love the Pro Kit, too, because of that. A lot of the springs kind of level it out. Pro Kit drops a little bit more in the front, as you pointed out, and I think it really is a perfect stance. Definitely. Well, Angelo, before we set you loose on the roads, man, I've obviously we've got the car all GoPro'd up here. Why don't you fire this thing up and let's hear how that Flowmaster sounds. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, nice. Nice, man. Definitely more refined than I was expecting for the EcoBoost. I'm with you, man. I mean, it's definitely not obnoxious whatsoever. It actually sounds really good. You get a little turbo noise through there. Yeah. You happy with it? Absolutely. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Very cool. Let's get you out on the roads here. You can tear it up and let us know what you think. All right. Let's see how this exhaust sounds here. Oh yeah. Nice little crackle out the end. That sounds perfect. Definitely a huge step up from the stock muffler, but still refined. The springs are definitely comfortable. Not too stiff, but definitely has a lot more control. A lot less brake dive. Springs feel perfect on the corners, much more predictable. That blow-off valve is a lot louder than I expected. The intake definitely helped out with the throttle response. Seems like I barely need to give a gas for that turbo to respond. It's crazy how much you could get out of three simple mods.
So Angela, you just got done blasting around in the EcoBoost now with all the mods. What do you think so far, man? I think it's exactly what I was hoping for out of this package. It's got a balanced suspension, it's got a nice note out of the exhaust, and I can hear the turbo and a little of that diverter valve. There you go, man. Well, thanks so much for bringing the car by, brother. We really appreciate it. And Thank I know you. you're not done with this thing, so maybe as you want to do some more mods, you'll bring it through. Sounds good. All right, man. Thanks for watching, guys. And for all things Mustang, keep it right here at AmericanMuscle.com.